Hi everyone and welcome to Laundry Talk. On today's video, we're going to be discussing sustainability or basically something that's able to hold, sustain with children between the ages of eight and 10. So the point of this project is, you know what? I'll just show you. Okay, so these are my three guests today. We have Samara, Donna, and Daphne, of course, with their parents' permission. These are materials. Can you girls show some of the materials you have? Okay, so they chose already some materials. And the purpose of this video is that they're going to make a bridge or various bridges, since each one is going to do their own. They're going to build bridges and we're going to see if they sustain people. Like okay, so let's see. We have hearts. They're made out of, what is this material again? Foam. It's not like a foam? Yes, basically yeah. like a tech, yeah, it's foam like a paper. type of foam paper. And um, we have these and different colors. Why do we need those? We have these. What else? Show me what else. Different sizes. And we have blue. 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 This. 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 Blue. 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 An old box that actually had lunch inside at some point. <laughs> we have more. It's hard paper with nice shiny colors. This was a, a placemat. No, um, a tablecloth. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a, a tablecloth broken into pieces and no water could go in. So that's a good material when making the bridge. We also have here dollies. We have construction paper. We have paint brushes and a bunch of cutouts from prior arts and crafts projects. Okay. okay, so on the paper, let's see. Did you write anything on yours? Okay. On the papers, I have I'm gonna have them first write down the materials they think they will need for this project, just in case we're missing any materials. And also, they could draw or they could write down information of how they're going to build their bridges and how it's going to sustain the, the figurines on top. So now this is the brainstorming part. This is the outlining part. This is the part where you write down all the information before you get started so that there's less room for any errors and less room for the, um, for the failure of your science project. All right, girls, are ready? Yes. yes. Okay, so we'll be back in a moment once we have something ready. Right through there, okay. And then the people 
Okay. Very good. The bridge is called the road bridge. The what? The road. I mean the, the road. The road. The road bridge? Yeah. Very good. And what do you use for the legs? For the for the bottom portion? Um, what holds up the bridge? Um what is it called again? Cardboard. Yeah, cardboard. Cardboard? Okay. And tape. And for the road. Yeah. And black tape and for the road. Cardboard. Cardboard, very good. And a tissue box on top. Good job. All right, the next person is Daphne. Daphne. So, this is the bridge where you can walk up and slide down. Also, the same concept as well. Okay, very good. So, here we are. You're the person. You walk up the stairs. You go on this side because the cars are going to be going on this side. And you do not want to get hit by a car. And you go over here. And then you slide down. Or, if you were in a car, you would come up here, drive very fast, because this is a tiny bridge, and then just, you know, just fly off the end. <laughs> so, do not go on this bridge if you are in a car. All right, wait, one, so what did you use, what materials did you use for this? Uh, cardboard, popsicle sticks, and construction paper. Construction paper. Right? Oh, okay. Yes. okay, good, good. Well, I like it. I like that you are your the popsicle sticks, the way you align them here. Very good. The choice of colors and how you have a ramp to fall down. Good job, Daphne. Fall down. And our last contestant, but not least, we have Donna. Her sister's joining her. Oh, for su for support. I'm here. <laughs> okay, and what did you use for materials? What did you use for your bridge? So I used a lot of tape, a box, um, and construction paper. Good job. I like this. What are these? Um, Can you explain so a little bit? Basically, you have to like, um, like just walk up here for some reason and enjoy the view oh, and nice. then if you want you can just jump you can just slide down and then you go on this and then explore something very nice and what do you use for the bottom to hold up the bridge um i used a cardboard box um so then i could use the tape um, to tape it construction paper because it was falling off everywhere. Okay, good job though. I like it. I love all these bridges. I like, I like the name of your bridge and I like the fact that you were very creative when you made the, um, the columns to hold up your bridge and what you use for the bottom piece. Very, very good job everyone. Alright, this is our audience today. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, let me see. All right, girls, come on out. So let's see. Okay. Let's vote to see whose bridge, whose bridge is the sturdiest, sturdiness and sustainability. That was the whole point of this lesson. Can your bridge sustain itself? And can your bridge sustain any items you put on top of it? So sustainability and creativity, okay? We're gonna judge on those two things. Oh, look, L. Okay. So we're going to judge on those two things. And the audience is going to help out, right, Sophia? Sophia, and you, know, you guys are going to help us uh, um, judge. Let's see whose bridge was the most creative. If you guys want to stand up because you can't see, you can come. Please don't touch the bridges. Everyone can come up and everyone can take a look. And then we're going to say which bridge was more creative. All right? I like this very good. Very good. Everyone can look at the bridges and let's see what you guys think and then we're going to pick one. Okay. Which one you like better? Yeah. You 
better like that one? Yes. How about that one? I like this. You like that one too? Yeah. How about this? Which one you like better? <laughs> this one? This one? This one? Or that one? Which one you like more? This one? Okay. All the girls put so much work and did such a great job that everyone at the end was a winner. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to smile.